Every single day, people discover new and fascinating things around the world. Strange mysteries lie in wait for us everywhere. Scientists have a hard time explaining how centuries-old artifacts, war relics, fossils, and creatures ended up in places no one had imagined to find them in. For instance, in frozen glaciers or under the Antarctic ice sheet. Ice is a pretty effective preservation medium, and experts know that the snow-covered peaks and the thick sheets of ice contain many secrets and stories, some of which humanity has discovered, while others still remain hidden. Many bizarre things have been found in ice over the years. Some of these discoveries made in the frozen tundras of our planet have contributed to our knowledge of nature and history. No one knows why and how certain things became frozen in ice and were preserved for hundreds of thousands of years while others weren't. Was it pure luck or was there a natural system of selection? We'll probably never know. Scientists, archaeologists, and even wanderers have discovered a whole lot of unbelievable things preserved in thick layers of ice in terrains that are so cold even the most resilient organisms have a hard time surviving here. Join us as we explore some of the most bizarre things found frozen in ice that shocked the whole world. Number 1. 200 Years Old Bones in 1985, strange-looking skull was discovered on the Yamana Beach at Cape Sharif of South Shetland Island in Antarctica. Besides the skull remnants of a human femur bone was also found at a beach camp made by sealers in the beginning of 19th century. The two bones reportedly belonged to a woman from Chile. At the time of her passing, she was in her early 20s. Scientists think she died between 1819 and 1825. She was among the earliest explorers of the frozen continent, and her bones are actually the oldest human remains discovered in Antarctica. The bones were found at a sealer's camp, but during the time she was alive, there weren't any female sealers. No one knows what a young woman from Chile was doing in the arduous terrain. The 200-year-old skull aligns with the initial expeditions that landed on the continent. Believe it or not, the 200-year-old bones are more valuable than thousands of years old animal fossils discovered in the ice. These are in fact a game-changing find. In the coming decades, these bones and other like them will become the basis of territorial claims for the Antarctic continent. Quite a few countries are nowadays preparing to claim this isolated frozen landmass. Antarctica was given the status of a natural reserve under the Antarctic Treaty System that was signed in 1959. It was devoted to peace and science, and all activities related to mineral resources were prohibited. But the treaty allows the members to review this prohibition in 2048. This means that there's a possibility that this ban on mining and resource extraction could get lifted, and all the treaty members want to claim the biggest share of these resources when it does. That's why the skull is incredibly important. If the Chilean government can prove that their people inhabited the continent long before others, they will be in a better position during the negotiations. Number 2. Oldest Seed Back in 2008, a team of Russian, Hungarian, and American scientists stumbled upon a miraculous discovery. They found the seed of a plant called Selene stenophilia near the banks of the Kolmer River. Selene stenophilia is a flowering plant that is mainly found in Siberia. The team of researchers discovered the seeds buried in ice, and they think that these were buried by an ice age squirrel. All the seeds were encased in ice buried almost 38 meters below the permafrost. A few were quite mature, while others were immature. The tiny pits containing the seeds were surrounded by layers that also contained bones belonging to ancient mammoths, bison, and woolly rhinoceros. After analysis and radiocarbon dating, it was revealed that they are at least 32,000 years old. The team of scientists who found these seeds was actually studying burrows made by ground squirrels when they accidentally found the seeds. They were able to extract viable plant material from the seeds, and a team of scientists at the Russian Academy of Sciences was able to germinate this flowering plant. They wanted to learn more about it and compare it to the modern Stenophilia species. The new and old plants were found to be almost identical. However, the shapes of their flowers were slightly different. The discovery of these 32,000-year-old seeds has led scientists to assume that there is probably a huge deposit of ancient gene pool in the permafrost. They are hoping to find more species of animals and plants that are extinct, and they also plan on attempting to revive these. Number 3. Endurance 
The Endurance is the lost vessel of the infamous Antarctic explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton, and its wreckage was finally found under the ice-covered water of the Weddell Sea. Back in 1915, the ship was crushed by sea ice and sank to the bottom of the sea. Shackleton and his men, who were aboard the ship, luckily escaped the sinking ship on foot and in small boats. The project to find the missing ship was founded by the Fackland Maritime Heritage Trust. They used a South African icebreaker called the Agulhas II that was equipped with remotely operated submersibles. The ship has been sitting in three kilometers of water for more than a century now, and surprisingly, it still looks just like it did on the fateful day of November 1915 when it went down. The timbers are disrupted but still very much together. The ship's name Endurance is clearly visible on the stern. According to marine archaeologist Menson Bound, who is part of the Discovery Expedition, this is the finest wooden shipwreck he has ever seen so far. The ship is upright, well proud of the seabed, intact and in a brilliant state of preservation. The discovery of this wreck was an exciting achievement. According to veteran polar geographer Dr. John Shears, they have successfully completed the world's most difficult shipwreck search battling constantly shifting sea ice, blizzards, and freezing temperatures that dropped down to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Many thought it was an impossible task, but here they are, with videos of the wreck, baffling everyone who sees them. The ship was spotted in the Weddell Sea at the depth of 3,008 meters. The wreckage was strangely found on the 100th anniversary of Shackleton's funeral. Since the discovery, experts have been trying to create a detailed photographic record of the timbers, and the surrounding debris field. Under the International Antarctic Treaty, the wreck is a designated monument and disturbing it in any way is not allowed, so no artifacts have been taken from the shipwreck. Number 4. John Torrington John Shaw Torrington was a stoker in the Royal Navy back in the 1800s. He was one of the crew members who were part of the unfortunate 1845 Franklin Expedition that set out to chart the unexplored parts of what we now call Nunavut, Canada. They were also hoping to find the Northwest Passage, a sea route to Asia through the northern edge of North America and make scientific observations. But sadly, fate had other plans for the doomed expedition. John Torrington was the first person who died during this expedition. Though eventually everyone aboard the two ships carrying members of this expedition ended up dying in the freezing white snow. Most of them perished in and around the King William Island. Torrington's body was buried on Beachy Island by other members. The trip was expected to last around three years, and the ships were packed with adequate provisions, but after late July in 1845, no one heard from the or saw the crew again. Torrington's body was exhumed in 1984 by Owen Beatty, a forensics anthropologist. He wanted to determine the cause of his death. Photographs of John Torrington's mummified body were widely published and inspired a lot of music and literary works in the coming years. Beattie and his team found that Torrington's coffin was buried about one and a half meters deep in permafrost, and that they had to dig through it to get him out. When they opened the coffin, they were shocked by how well his body was preserved. He didn't look any different from the way he probably looked the day he died. The team poured water on ice to thaw the body. The ice slowly melted away and therefore any damage to the body was prevented. Once it was thawed, they undressed the body to examine it in detail. It was found that he had been extremely sick at the time of his death. The body was so thin with his ribs were visible and it weighed only 38.5 kilograms at a height of 5 feet 4 inches. Afterwards, the team conducted a thorough autopsy and took multiple tissue samples for analysis. These samples revealed that his body had remained stored on board the ship while his grave was dug. Cell autolysis had occurred in almost all areas of the cell definition was quite poor. The brain was almost entirely gone and only a yellow gelatinous liquid was left behind. The lungs also showed scarring from earlier attacks of tuberculosis and a recent attack of pneumonia. Toxicology revealed high amounts of lead in Torrington's hair and fingernails. The team concluded that he had died of pneumonia and other lung problems that were aggravated by lead poisoning. It was later found that the lead played a key role in the demise of the entire crew of the HMS Terror and the HMS Erebus. Number 5. Himalayan Bone Pits The frozen bone pits of the Himalayas have been one of the most unsettling and creepy things humanity has found thanks to climate change. 
These were found in a lake called Rupkund that is located in the Himalayas just in the lap of the Trishul Massif. The lake is present at a height of 5,029 meters. This high-altitude glacial lake falls within the boundaries of Uttarakhand state of India. Rock-strewn mountains and gigantic snow-covered peaks surround the ancient lake, which is also popular amongst tourists and hikers. Hundreds of human skeletons are found lying along the edges of the lake. When the snow melts in the summer, similar skeletal remains lying at the bottom of the Rupkund Lake also become visible. These human remains were first discovered by Hari Kishan Madwal, a forest ranger back in 1942. After investigating the lake and skeletons, it was speculated that these remains might belong to a group of people who got caught in a devastating hailstorm while traveling through the area in the 9th century. However, later researchers revealed that the bones actually belonged to three separate groups of people who died in three different events. At the time, the British government got suspicious that the skeletons were perished victims of a secret Japanese force invasion. Besides the skeletons, wooden artifacts, iron spearheads, rings, and clothing were also found in the lake. The tourists who visit the lake tend to take the bones with them. This is damaging the historic site and authorities are trying to keep this from happening. They plan to preserve the lake and the surrounding areas as an eco-tourism site. Number 6. Oil and Wood Feeders Robert Blanchett, a plant pathologist at the University of Minnesota, discovered three unique and new species of fungi in a place no one would have imagined. The three species were found devouring the historic relics of Antarctica. The three huts built by famous British explorers Ernest Shackleton and Robert Scott during their Antarctic expeditions that lasted from 1901 to 1915 were the victims of these new fungus species. Artifacts from the expedition are still present inside these huts, including newspaper clippings, cans of food, and clothing items that were left behind by the expedition members. Conservationists have noticed that the wood planks had begun rotting and the crates were covered in black spots. Previously, there was no record of wood deteriorating fungi exclusively native to Antarctica, as they prefer warmer clients. But to Blanchett's surprise, the DNA of all three of these species was unique and didn't match that of any known temperate species. It was clear that the explorers definitely didn't bring these species to Antarctica. The strength and endurance of these fungi was baffling, and scientists had no idea how they were able to survive and thrive in such inhospitable environments. While Blanchett was studying these wood-eating fungi, he also discovered something new, a species of fungus that was devouring the petroleum that had been spilled from fuel containers Scott and Ernst had left behind. This was game-changing, as such organisms can be used as an eco-friendly method to clear out the oil spills from ships. However, fungi aren't the only microorganisms capable of degrading petroleum products. Researchers from University Putra Malaysia, while working in coalition with the University of Malaysia's National Antarctic Research Centers, have managed to isolate two new species of bacteria that can devour diesel. These were found in Scott Coast and Ross Island. Number 7. 5,000-Year-Old Shoe The melting glaciers in Switzerland are revealing the secrets and relics that have remained obscured in the ice-covered Swiss Alps for thousands of years now. One such relic was discovered by divers, almost fully preserved. It was a Neolithic Age shoe that somehow made its way to the Griffons Lake in Maur. Till date, less than 10 such specimens have been found in Europe. The Stone Age lake dwellings on the shores of Swiss lakes are considered among some of the most important European archaeological sites. The Zurich Buildings Authority revealed that this shoe found by divers dates back 5,000 years to the so-called Horgan culture. According to experts, it's a prime example of the ingenious manufacturing of Neolithic clothing. The shoe is made out of a material called bast that's rarely used nowadays. It is made out of deeper layers of various types of tree barks. The recovery and subsequent preservation of this fragile relic is going to be a time-consuming and complicated process, according to the authorities. However, they were quite astonished by the unusually pristine appearance of this shoe. It is no less a miracle than the ancient textile object that was at least 5,000 years ago that remained unaffected by the natural decomposition. Number 8. Luba the Mammoth Woolly mammoths are popular and beloved by children, especially as they were featured in the incredibly entertaining Ice Age film series. But these huge ancient mammals dominated the planet thousands of years ago. Back in May 2007, a reindeer hunter named Yuri Kuti 
and his three sons came across unbelievably well-preserved remains of a mummified woolly mammoth. They found the creature on the bank of the Yuribi River, frozen in Russia's Arctic Yamal Peninsula. The hunter and his sons were hoping to hand over these remains to the local museum, but a greedy cousin sold the mummified remains without telling them. Luckily, scientists were able to trace the buyer and recover the body that was still astonishingly well-preserved. After initial studies, the researchers managed to find out that the mammoth froze to death, estimatedly 40,000 years ago. She's been named Lubia, which means love in the Russian language. Luba's body was subjected to rigorous testing, the results of which revealed that she was between one to two months old at the time of her death. According to the scientists, she probably suffocated to death in the soft river mud. They came to this conclusion when her CT scans revealed copious amounts of mud lodged in her trunk, mouth, and trachea. The baby mammoth also had an intact fat hump. The purpose of this hump was to regulate her body heat. Later on, an endoscopy was performed and tissue samples were taken from her organs. From these, it found that she consumed her mother's milk and feces. Scientists think she didn't die and freeze at the location her body was found. Instead, it was brought here by the movement of water and ice in the river after it eroded out of the permafrost. Number 9. Mysterious Ice Ship Recently, a Google Earth user came across a strange structure and an image that looked a lot like a ship. The huge ice structure was picked up on Google Earth just south of New Zealand, and anyone who's seen it online thinks it bears an uncanny resemblance to a cruise liner. This is definitely not your typical shipwreck. It's around 400 feet long and is trapped underneath a thick layer of ice and snow. It was lying hidden in an iceberg around 100 miles from the coast of Antarctica. The chimneys sprouting from the middle and cabin windows along the sides of the alleged cruise liner are quite noticeable. However, no one knows for sure what it actually is. It could be a monstrous boat, and it could also just be a coincidence. The discovery has sparked a lot of conspiracy theories for many who think that something sinister is hidden in the frozen continent, and no one wants the public to find out what it is. From wild theories like secret Nazi bases to isolated ancient civilizations, almost everything is being considered as a possible explanation. The image of this massive ship was initially shared by a YouTuber called Mr. MBB333, who likes to call himself the Earth Watchman. Some people commented that the mysterious ship was left there to be used by world leaders to escape natural disasters. Another person suggested that it could be an ice ship that was built during the Second World War. The scientists, however, think that this may be a case of pareidolia, the ability to see patterns in randomness. So maybe it isn't a ship, just a fragment of our imagination. Number 10. Inca Girl La Doncella, or the Inca Girl, is actually a mummified body of an ancient teenage girl. According to experts who studied and analyzed the remains, she died around 500 years ago. Her body was recovered by archaeologists in Argentina back in 1999. When the body was studied in detail, scientists were shocked to find that she hadn't died naturally. Instead, it looked like she was the victim of a ritual sacrifice that was performed in the Andes Mountains. When archaeologists discovered her body, she was wearing a characteristic headpiece and was dressed in an old traditional tunic. The Inca girl wasn't found alone in the ice. There were two more mummified bodies with her. These belonged to two children. Together, these three mummified youths are called the children of Loli Ayako. Experts think that the teenage girl and the two children were left on top of the mountain as an offering to the gods. They eventually died from the harsh environment and cold weather. Scientists also found that all three of them had been fed corn liquor intended to put them to sleep. Tiny fragments of cocoa leaves were also found around the mouth of the Inca girl. The Inca people used to chew these leaves as they help alleviate the symptoms of altitude sickness. The discovery of these children was exciting as it was unsettling. The mummy of Ladoncella is currently displayed in the High Country Archaeological Museum of Salta, Argentina. The bodies of the two other children were not put on display and instead are kept in storage for further analysis. Number 11. Ancient Live Organisms Russian scientists found a strange species of tiny animals in a core of frozen soil they had acquired from a drilling rig in the Siberian permafrost. These creatures have remained frozen in this arctic sheet of ice for more than 24 years, but now scientists have successfully revived these animals from their exceptionally long and deep sleep. They're called Deloy rotifiers and are microscopic animals. 
They're invertebrates that live in watery environments. No one can surpass their resilience. The discovery of these gives us evidence supporting the assumption that multicellular animals can actually withstand thousands of years of cryptobiosis. It's a state of almost complete metabolic arrest. Previously, scientists thought that these could survive in cryptobiosis for up to 10 years, but radiocarbon dating has revealed that others found by Russian scientists were almost 24,000 years old. They're also called wheel animals, sometimes owning to the ring of small hair surrounding their mouth cavity that looks like a wheel. These resilient microorganisms can easily survive freezing temperatures, extreme dryness, low oxygen, and starvation. After thawing, one of them, found in the frozen soil, baffled the scientists even more by reproducing a clonal process called parenthogenesis. These microorganisms belong to the class Adenetta. The creature has no doubt been revived, but scientists have told us what the consequences of its comeback are. Well, let's not hope they're disastrous. Number 12. Dinosaur Ancestor In a study published by the journals of vertebrae paleontology, scientists revealed that they had discovered an almost 250 million year old fossil. According to them, it belongs to one of the ancestors of the fearsome dinosaurs. Its scientific name? Antarctinax shackletoni. However, it's referred to as the Antarctic King. It's almost the size of a modern-day iguana, and it's the ancestor of dinosaurs and crocodiles. It's called Shackletoni after the 20th century explorer Ernest Shackletoni, who named the rock formation Transantarctic Mountains of the Antarctic Continent. This is the same place where the species was first discovered during excavations. The rock is called the Fremal Formation. It was a place where, during his Antarctic expedition of 2010 and 2011, Brandon Peacock stumbled across this incredibly well-preserved fossil. Antarctic Shackletoni reportedly lived during the Triassic period. The bones of this was discovered by archaeologists including leg and a feet, vertebrae, and some ribs. Experts believe that the animal was a carnivore that roamed the planet when Antarctica was still joined with the supercontinent called Pangaea. The species belonged to the Archosaurid reptile group that surprisingly grew in numbers while the rest of the species inhabiting the planet were dwindling just before the end Permian mass extinction. This extinction even wiped out 70% of all creatures alive at that time. Paleontologists are quite intrigued by this mystery. They still don't know why these scratchews thrived during this mass extinction. Number 13. Cryoconite Holes A Swedish explorer traveling across Greenland's ice cap was the first one to discover these holes in 1870. These cryoconite holes derived their name from cryo, which means ice, and conite, which means dust. These are cylindrical holes filled with water that tend to form on the surface of glaciers. Dark-colored sediments were found deposited at the bottom of these creepy holes. Above the sediments, there is meltwater. Cryoconite is a combination of small rock particles, soot, and microorganisms. This combination dust gets deposited on snow glaciers and ice caps, and its buildup causes these holes to form. Cryoconite might also contain dust from continental deserts, and farmlands situated thousands of kilometers away. Power plant emission particles, volcanic ash, and other dust particles also get carried to Antarctica by winds that are deposited in these crinoconite holes. These dark particles absorb heat from the sunlight and cause the ice around them to melt, thereby forming long, cylindrical holes. Cryoconite sinks to the bottom of these holes and forms the black sediment layer, all the while melting further down into the ice. The melting ice in summers fills these holes up with water. All these factors contribute to providing optimal conditions for microorganisms and tiny animals to grow in these holes, forming many ecosystems. It's quite astonishing how nature found a way to support life in the strangest of places. What kind of creatures do you think live in these holes, and what happens to them when the water freezes in winters? Share your thoughts in the comments below.